Let's use the Konica Minolta Biz Hub Swing Vision Camera to see if we can figure out why Tiger Woods struggled with his ball striking yesterday afternoon. Now he's been working on getting his hips set a little more to the left at address. That gives him a pretty severe angle of his right leg, but it's designed to help set the spine angle a little more behind the golf ball. Now, as Tiger starts the club back, he turns beautifully around his spine angle. He has maintained that spine angle perfectly at the top of the backswing. Now, as he starts back down, that angle of the right leg drives his hips forward, causing his upper body to hang back a little bit more behind the golf ball. So that as he comes into impact, look at the difference in the spine angle. When you have that much change of spine angle in your golf swing, it's going to be very difficult to find the release point on a consistent basis. Hopefully, Tiger got that all worked out on the range last night. That's very interesting, Peter, isn't it? I mean, I, you know, he really is stacking. Sir Casas, Peter, take it away. With the Konica Minolta Biz Hub Swing Vision Camera, take note of how quiet he keeps his legs. That allows him to use the hands to release the club head. Beautiful positioning of the shaft at impact. Quiet lower body really allows him to just precisely find the bottom of his swing. You look at this chip shot by Tiger Woods. Yeah, I love playing these. You put the, put the ball off your right toe, take your putting grip, and all you got to do is just send your right shoulder to the sky, basically up and then down towards the ball. You just collect the ball. You know, use the, literally feel the weight of the club head, feel the weight of the shaft. You don't have to force it. Great to play this with a 9-9 or an 8 iron because you always get that little bit of forward. Uh, you get the nice little chip, get the little bit of carry, then it always goes forward. doesn't have too much spin in it. I want to see this one again. Check this one. Oh, we got this angle. So it's all going to look pretty normal from here, but, you know, from behind, the club was pointing crumbs. It must have been... That might have been 100 yards left. That top of the swing position, that club was well laid off, trying to now come down and he's as you saw look how he traps it oh look at the angle he's created trying to keep it low and then watch this follow through this cut off abbreviated little snap of a follow through wow shades of Arnold Palmer there nearly pulled it off let's have a close-up of Tiger coming out the uh, the winter sheep line Got to kind of just, you've got to find the ground. That's the important thing. You've got to throw the, bounce the club into the ground, and then obviously it will then bounce back up. If you're trying to just slice through, very dangerous shot. So that's how the players always, I always felt that always try and find the ground underneath the ball. Look, sir, he's going to be uh, waiting here for a second, but Peter Casas, take us through this one. It was a good one. Well, it was finally a good swing for Tiger. He's leveled his eyes from yesterday. He's not quite as tilted back to the right as we take a look with our Konica Minolta Biz Hub swing vision camera. But the key point is right here in the change of directions. Watch how level he keeps his head. Does it really drive down as much as it did yesterday? It goes down a little bit, but much, much better. And the right shoulder works under and around his spine rather than his spine angle coming up and out of it kept his tilt going through the shot much, much better. And that's what he needs to do, Gary, to find the fairway. He needs to stop hanging back with his upper body and letting the hips slide forward. And you can uh, watch him in the watch him on the practice day and none of that happens. But, you know, when the effort comes out here and he wants to hit one hard, he just he's always kind of gone down on it and then pop straight up. That's how you hit it far. Push down and then push up. Well, 267 here. He uh, does have to cut it a touch, but he can do that with the wind off the left. He's got the five wood out. How far has he got? 267. That's just what I hit mine. Oh, yeah. Twice. Eventually. Call a shot, David. Call a shot for me. Get in the hole! Yeah! You know, somewhere sort of around the middle, left of the green, maybe? Yeah! Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Very nice. Right where he got hit, it was not about to short side himself. So that's an automatic, automatic. I'm